So finishing this one up, we have 17 through 20. And again, our first step is just going to be to test points and see if they land on the line. So 0, 2 is right there. So yes, A satisfies the function. 1, negative 2 is right there. So yes, B satisfies the function. <coughs> negative 3, 12 we don't know about. And 5, negative 18 we don't know about. So we do need to come up with an equation for this line. So our slope is going to be down 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4. And to the right 1. So slope is negative 4 over 1 or negative 4. And so our, and our y-intercept is 2. So our equation, we'll test it for c, is y equals negative 4x plus 2. And so our y value for c is 12. 4 times negative 3 plus 2. This one is not going to work. Uh, 12 is equal to negative 12 plus 2. 12 is equal to negative 10. The answer is no. So C does not satisfy the function. And then D. Again, we've got Y equals negative 4X plus 2. So we have negative 18 is equal to negative 4 times 5 plus 2. I think this one's going to work. Negative 18 is negative 20 plus 2. Negative 18 equals negative 18. So yes, D satisfies the function. I'll pause there for a moment before moving on to number 18. And so for number 18, we'll test our points. Negative 1, 4 puts us right there. That's on the line. So yes, A satisfies the function. Negative 5, 7 is way out here, so nope. 6, 13, we don't know about. <clears throat> and negative 7, negative 5 does land on the graph, so yes, D satisfies the function. We just need to figure out C. So we need an equation for this, so our slope. Um, <laughs> I think our slope is going to be 1, 2, 3, up, and to the right, 2. Yep. So slope is 3 over 2. <clears throat> and our y-intercept, that's a nasty one. I think our y-intercept is 5. So <clears throat> y is equal to? 3 over 2x plus 5. We'll try those values in there. We'll see what happens. We've got for c, our 13 is our y value. <coughs> 6 is our x value. So <clears throat> 3 times 6 is 18 over 2 plus 5. 13 is equal to 9 plus 5. And no... 13 is not equal to 14, so C is not a solution to the equation. I'm going to pause this for one moment and just make sure that that's correct. Yep, that's correct. So I'll leave these here for our notes if that's something you need, and move on to the next. All right, number 19. Let's test the... Points. So 0, 2. A lands on the line. A is a A satisfies the function. Negative 13, negative 12, I don't know about. 3, 7. C is right there. It's on the line. <clears throat> so it satisfies the function. And D is negative 3, negative 3. It lands on the line. It also satisfies the function. So we do need an equation to test B. And so our equation, our slope is going to be up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the right, 1, 2, 3. So slope is 
is going to be 5 thirds. And the y-intercept is 2. So we've got y equals 5 thirds x plus 2. And our y value is negative 12. Again, we're testing b is equal to 5 over 3 times x, which is negative 13, plus 2. So negative 12 is equal to negative 65 over 3, plus 2. I think that's correct, negative 65. Yep, and that's going to come out to be some weird decimal, like 20-something. So I'm just going to stop there because I know that that's not going to come out to be what we need it to be. There's no way that uh, <clears throat> there's no way that this stuff on the right is going to end up being negative twelve. Okay. Okay. Moving on to twenty. I'll leave this here for a moment if you need to pause it. Moving on to twenty, we've got to test the points. So 4, 1 is where A would be at, and that's yes, that satisfies the function. 8, negative 3, we don't know about. Negative 12, 10, we don't know about. And 3, 0 lands right there. So we know that that does not satisfy the function. So let's come up with an equation for this so we can test it. So our y value is negative 1, negative 2. And to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So slope, negative 2 over 4, negative 1 half. And our y-intercept is going to be 3. So uh, we've got to test both b and c. So we'll test b. Equation is going to be y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 because our slope is negative 1 half and our y-intercept is 3. So our y value is going to be negative 3. We've got negative 1 half x which is 8 plus 3. Negative 3 is equal to negative 8 over 2 plus 3. Negative 3 is equal to negative 4 plus 3 and that's not going to work. Negative 3 is not equal to negative 1. So B is out. C, again we've got Y equals negative 1 half X plus 3. So 10 is equal to negative 1 half times negative 12 plus 3. 10 is equal to... Uh, it's going to be positive 12 over 2 plus 3. And this one's not going to work. 10 is not going to be equal to 6 plus 3. 10 is not equal to 9. So C is out. And that's it for this video. I'll pause this here for a moment so you can take notes from it if you need to. And that's all.